So today we're going to be pulling the head off. I really wish I had someone here to help record. Um, that's just me by myself. So I'm going to take the exhaust manifold off. We're going to move this out the way. Um, we're going to uh, disconnect the oil feed line and two bolts here. And then we're going to disconnect these two bolts for the ejector harness. Um, yeah, it's like three in the morning. I can't sleep. I want to I wanna see the damage on this, if, if there is any on the head. I've just been thinking about it, 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 thinking about it. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to try to position the camera somewhere while I'm taking the bolts off. we got to take off all these bolts here. Here, 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 here. A lot. I think there's 32 of them, if I'm not mistaken. Once I did that, I'll run a chain here. Chain here. And we'll pick this sucker up with the cherry picker. All right, stay tuned. All right. So... Stripped it. <laughs> Everything came out fairly easy. Um, right now I'm taking the bolts off for the for the head. And um, yeah, fun stuff. Let's see if this will hold. Basically, what I want to do is put a little tension to it pops, let it go back up one, you hit pop again, and go, and you bring it up, and with the pop, bring it back, and pop, the last thing you want is to strip these bolts in the fucking head. I don't want to do that. This is a 5 8 socket, by the way. Let me pop. Bring it back. That one's actually pretty. Let it pop. Bring it back. Bring it back. Super tight. With a pop. Yeah. Another thing I found out, probably why this head gasket fell, is because the bolts probably stretched. They never replaced the bolts when they changed the head gasket. So there you go, guys. You cannot take shortcuts when you're doing this stuff. You gotta, you gotta spend the money, or you will be doing this job over and over. And then you might get in the truck and he's like, oh, it's not reliable. You spend this money on another truck or an engine, so don't do that. I used to like to use the jack bar, cheetah bar. And the pop. Yeah. In the back. There you go. <sighs> All right, stay tuned. So I got it off. You use that neat contraption up there. I think it's pretty cool because that, that we're gonna reach. So I got it off. Yeah. So yeah, he did. Um, 
he did rebuild it. You can't say that he didn't. Um, just this one was seeping through here, this head gasket here, and here, as you can see. Um, so that was a failure for the for the engine. I'm gonna have to clean all this up. But yeah, liners look new. Everything looks good. I'm gonna have my father-in-law check the depth height. Make sure this one seems a little higher, higher than this one. I'm not sure though. I have to measure these out. I don't know. It's weird how that one failed. It doesn't make sense, but we're gonna figure it out. We gotta, we gotta clean all this up. So I have to lift this back up and see if there's any damage on the valves or anything like that. So stay tuned. So just inspected the head. The head is in good shape. No damage. Uh, this was a head gasket failure. Um, and that part that broke. I'm gonna have to ask my father-in-law for we count these, uh, measure these uh, liners. Um, one looks a little low than it should be. I believe it's this one. This one had antifreeze and this one. As you see, it started to rust and I pulled the head gas, the head was antifreeze here. So, but yeah, um, I'll give you an update. Got a lot of cleaning to do. So we're gonna call it a day today because at least I know I it's not nothing crazy and this is all fixable, not a problem. So yeah, we're good. All right, um, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll keep you updated on this engine rebuild in front. Oh, now it's an outer frame, but yeah, okay.